Hello, I'm Dr. Gondwani Gawaza. I'm in charge of looking after newborns at Chatinka Nazare here at Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital. In this session, you're going to learn about CPAP, which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. CPAP is standard treatment for helping newborn babies with difficulties breathing in the developed countries. And now we want to try to bring this therapy here in Malawi. CPAP is better than using only oxygen because it provides a little bit of pressure to make breathing easier. Often, very small or premature babies have stiff lungs and they need a bit of help to breathe. CPAP has not been available in Africa because the machines used in the developed world cost thousands of dollars. So we asked a group of medical engineers from Rice University in Texas to come up with a more affordable CPAP delivery system which could be used in Africa. We now have a low cost and easy to use version of CPAP which we call the Pumani CPAP. Here at Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital in Blantyre, we've been using this CPAP machine with very, very positive results in our babies who are born with difficult breathing. Our experience is that CPAP does make an important difference for small babies. This is funny. Most of our three weeks of life have been spent here at the hospital with a lung infection. She came here from a health center when only seven days old, pale and struggling to breathe. She was one of the first babies here to go on to the CPAP. Initially, she went on for three days, but the infection recurred, so she was put back onto the CPAP for a total of 11 days. Her mother was worried about using the machine at first, but saw the difference it made. <laughs> Now, Fanny is really getting better and is feeding well. Her experience is typical of the babies we have treated here. We've not just been using CPAP. We've actually done a formal study to evaluate how well it works. And that's why we can be sure now that this is very helpful therapy that we need to bring out to the rest of Malawi. It was important for us to see that CPAP was really going to work for our children. I think all of you are aware of how children, when they're either very small or they've got a severe infection, have huge difficulty in breathing. And we wanted to make sure that by helping them with this particular machine, we were going to save some lives. So in the neonatal unit in the Queen Elizabeth, we had two machines. That wasn't enough for all the children who needed it, but it meant that we could at least put two children at a time onto the machine. And there were other children who needed it but couldn't go on, and we asked those parents if we could follow them and see what happened. They were getting oxygen like most of us would give to any child who was having difficulty breathing. The results, when we analyzed them, showed that those who had been on CPAP, two out of three survived. That's 67% it was. Whereas if we looked at the children who'd only received oxygen, only a quarter, that's one out of four, it was actually 24% survived. So there was a clear improvement if we managed to put children onto CPAP. It was clear too that this helped particularly the very low birth weight babies because those are the ones who have immature lungs and they're just frankly getting tired when they're trying to breathe and a machine that just helps keep those lungs open for a little bit longer because that's what CPAP does it increases the pressure a little bit 
stops the lungs from collapsing. It's those children who do particularly well. It is beneficial to those who have infections and it is beneficial to older, heavier children, but less so, I think, less convincingly so than the ones in the low birth weight group. As a doctor, I feel great satisfaction at seeing babies recover. We have also found that CPAP has not disrupted the normal routine of the world. It's easy to save babies in a short time with a CPAP machine. They get better. The respiration disease get quicker, clear, and the baby start breathing very well, and the mother happy. It's a good machine. I was afraid. <laughs> I thought I couldn't manage to operate it. But after learning, it was easy. The mother thinks the baby is going to die. But when we explain and put on the machine, there's a change in about six hours. They saw the progress of the machine. That is very useful and happy. <laughs> My grandson was sick. He showed signs of respiratory distress. I said, no, this one needs CPAP. And we went to maternity ward. Maternity ward Nesare. And she was put on CPAP by Dr. Hans. But the, my baby recovered in 18 hours. Then she was put off on CPAP. <laughs>